Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday. It's about 1023 and we're up on Capitol Hill. This is the Library of Congress, in case you don't know. Um, we're going out because some people are supposed to be getting arrested today, um, some protest or whatnot. Uh, then we're going to go over to the White House this evening. We're getting ready for tomorrow's state visit and I'm going to photograph cutlery. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to photograph, but I've been offered a state dinner preview at the White House, so... I'll go. Let's see what's going on over there. And in between, we'll catch some fires and police and whatever else is going on in the city. All right, let's go down to Capitol Hill. There's your U.S. Capitol. In the distance, got people screaming over here, shouting, something like that. I think it's a protest. Ford Fisher's on the scene. He's uh, another YouTuber and news journalist. Ford covers most of the uh, protests in D.C. He says there's a group out here, about 100 or so, and supposedly we're going to have some arrests. Now, we've heard there's already been some protests. Uh, Secretary of Defense Austin is over in the Senate side, and they've removed a few Gaza protesters from there. Uh, let's go over here and see what we can see. Yeah? It's really pretty in the spring in Washington. There's lots of stuff in bloom. There's some cherry blossoms or some rosebuds or something, rosewood. Uh, a lot of flowers over there we can check out. Here's this protest. I think this is a Christians for Gaza protest. I don't know. I just was told they're going to get arrested. If they're not going to get arrested, then we're going to go find something else. Oh. Now, over here is the House Triangle. The House Triangle is where congressmen come out to give press conferences and stuff. Looks like there's a few members right now giving a press conference. I can look it up on the schedule who's speaking, and we'll see if anybody uh, interesting is coming out. Usually it's random bills that they've introduced that will never be see the light of day. Occasionally it's big stuff, but uh, I don't recognize any of the congressmen over there. Can't be that big. Let's go find Ford. It looks like Ford's in the middle of this. Six months. We are in the seventh month of this genocide. Already over 33,000 people lost in America. Over 75,000 people in there. And perfected by the enslavement and segregation of black people. The legacy of American violence continues as our nation subsidizes Israel's apartheid regime. We confess that this violence has always relied on Christian theologies that we have been slow to reject. Okay, guys, we stepped inside the Cannon Building to get a croissant and a Diet Coke. <laughs> um, we're going to go wander over there for a bit. We're not going to hang out with that group until they start to move, and we'll see if they do anything weird. This is uh, the Cannon Rotunda over here. This is where a lot of press do uh, their stand-up interviews up in the upper gallery, which is why there's a lot of protests down here in the lower gallery. Quite pretty. All right, let's get out of here. This, by the way, is the fire alarm Congressman Bowman pulled to uh, delay the vote on the spending bill. He is losing his uh, primary election right now. They don't think he's going to be back. Selfie pictures. So over here, this is what we call the House Triangle, and this is where the congressmen come out and give speeches and announce things. It's pre-wired for the media. You see right here? These are uh, direct feeds back to the headquarters of Fox, ABC, Talk Radio, CNN, Al Jazeera, and they can plug in directly to this box and send their signal back to their home offices without having to use satellite trucks or uh, live view devices. Uh, that group is still singing. It's only 11.10. I think they're going to be there a while, yeah? So let's wander around, take a look at the pretty flowers, and 
see what's going on over in the Senate side. Maybe we'll go look up some friends over in the Senate side, see what they're doing. Here are those flowers I was telling you about. Look at these. So pretty. Oh, let's go crashing through some people's photos. Now, the Japanese Prime Minister is already in town, but I don't think he's coming up here to the hill until Thursday. He'll be at the White House tomorrow. Actually, he'll be at the White House tonight for a private dinner, and then the state dinner's tomorrow. So many flowers. And then down over here is the visitor center. And like I said, it's spring break all over the country. Kids are on spring break visiting Washington in their matching t-shirts or umbrellas or whatever. All right, let's go over to the Senate side. So over here, this is called the Senate Swamp. The House has the triangle, the Senate has the swamp. Uh, then over there you can see they've got all the TV booths set up just like they do over on the House side. And this is where the Senators give their speeches. You see me out here a few times. All right, let's go find something to film. Not the guy mowing the lawn. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Okay, told you they'd get arrested. So a few dozen got arrested. Um, we're not actually supposed to take video in the dining room. It's complicated. Uh, so a lot of the video I showed you came from the hallway, not from the dining hall, because, well, we get in trouble if we film in there. Anyway, we're done on the hill. Let's run out, and we gotta go to the White House in a couple hours. So I'm gonna go chill for a bit, and then we'll go back to the White House. So over on my right, that is the Japanese embassy. You can see all these cars out here. They've got numbers on them and stuff. These are buses. These are part of the motorcade they'll be using tomorrow for the Japanese prime minister. Maybe even tonight, he might be coming to the embassy itself, looking, judging by the security. Uh, the Japanese prime minister is coming like six o'clock, I think. We're not gonna be here for that. Uh, we'll set one of our ladders out, go inside, jump off the other ladder. I'm carrying two ladders today. I'm trying to help out some friends from another agency. Uh, but they're heavy. Okay, looks like they're already lined up. I've got about five minutes to get down there and line up. Let's dump this ladder. Okay, the other ladder goes inside. I don't think there's a briefing going on. <laughs> crazy. Oh. Just still. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Only. Thanks. No, no pencils yet. Thank you. I'll be back down in a few. What do we say? <laughs> There's the barricade they put up. Accompanied by White House Social Secretary Carlos Elizondo, White House Executive Chef Chris Comfort, and White House Executive Pastry Chef Susie Morrison.
So I'm Chris Comerford, I'm the White House Executive Chef, and I will present you first our first course, which is a house cured salmon. We cured it for about 24 hours, and it's flanked with wonderful ruby red grapefruits, avocados, cucumbers, and seashell leaf uh, tempura. Actually, our inspiration for this dish is the iconic American California roll because it's been such a wonderful innovation of both countries culinarily because in some, you know, like believes that a Japanese chef uh, basically invented the dish in California and henceforth, here we are still enjoying this dish. So basically it's all of these wonderful flavors that I've kind of have incorporated into ribeye beef and it is a uh, sauce with uh, sesame sabayon and also since it's spring, we have some wonderful uh, morel mushrooms, some wonderful greens, and some fava beans, and some uh, wonderful seashell leaves as well, and shishito pepper and butter. It is uh, Thank you for being here. I'm Susie Morrison. I'm executive pastry chef. And it's very exciting to stand here before you today to tell you about the dessert we'll be serving. We'll have a salted caramel pistachio cake matcha ganache, cherry ice cream, and raspberry drizzle. So we wanted to bring a little bit of the cherry blossoms that are here at the Tidal Basin right here to our dessert. Okay, ramming speed. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. Thank you. Get the, okay, she's passing them out. Yeah. I have one, thank you. I'll take another if you want. So these are the Bush plates, and then the others with the Johnson plates. Japanese primary press. Mm -hmm. Get a glass of water, which I actually probably need. Thank you. We just noticed the butterflies and we only have 30 seconds left. All right, time to leave. Cake was good. We're out. It's not rain. Yeah. Oh wow, so they're outside waiting the arrival. So it's 5.30. I don't think he arrives till 6. Good lord, the Japanese press corps is huge. We gotta get inside before they do. Yeah. Cutting in front of them. <laughs> Big crowd. No, this is just a U-Haul coming in. I thought he's, go he's gonna go to the South Lawn. So uh, we now see a motorcade, including Beast. Uh, they're gonna move a Beast unit. 
Yeah. I guess he's coming this way. Yeah. Coming this way. So yes, there are bicycle cops inside the White House every now and then. Let's see if we can get out. Yeah, he's got 800-002 cars. That's... That is POTUS. Maybe this is V POTUS. No? The Vice President? She, she has beasts. She can use them. Sometimes. She's already gone for the night. No. That's got to be because the Japanese cars are down here. See, they got the flags on them. So he's going to roll out in that. That may be Vipo. Is that one? No, her v her trucks are down there. I'm not yeah, sure. No, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be stuck because if they go. No, they just go around like. But I mean, if they leave, if they go on the street. Mm, I'm not sure where they're going to go. But I like how they put down the curtain so people can't see. Yeah. What's actually like going on? We could probably photograph them from here. You think they'll let us stay here? No. <laughs> They do have a curtain to stop us from filming on 17th Street. Ah, oh, hosers. Okay, guys, I need to get home and edit this video, but that motorcade we saw on Pennsylvania Avenue, that's a POTUS-level motorcade. We also see signs that there is a motorcade departure from the White House imminent. Now, this could be the Japanese PM, but normally he doesn't rate road closures and there would be no need for the POTUS motorcade to be out there. They might be going to dinner together out at a restaurant. We'll see. I knew there was a motorcade and they're up here at this fancy Japanese restaurant. I'm not sure which one it is to be honest. Is that it? No, it's next to it. Anyway, they're out having dinner, blocking up all the traffic. Let's see how close we can get. Okay guys, they're not at a Japanese restaurant. They're at Black Salt. It's a pretty famous restaurant there. I think Obama used to go here a lot. Uh, it looks like they're moving the beast around. There's the beast and there's the Japanese PM's car. Okay guys, that was Washington DC on a Wednesday. Uh, to, no, today's a Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. That'll be the state visit. I'll show you all the pomp and circumstance there. Hopefully it won't rain on us. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh, the cake, it was really good. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.